Just a day after Governor Felix Camacho vetoed the amended version of his third landfill funding bill, senators were called back into special session to address his fourth attempt to comply with the district court's orders and put an end to the weekly million-dollar payments. Senator B.J. Cruz says he hasn't decided what to do with this bill yet. All he knows is that after caucusing, the Democrats plan on linking Lola Cola and tax refund payments to the Section 30-backed revenue bonds once again. But the vice speaker says he's more concerned that the government of Guam agencies were not paid their allotments for the halfway point of the fiscal year before the weekly million-dollar payments were made. Cruz also points out that the governor's office already received three-fourths of its budget. The senator says this sends the wrong message to the district court that GovGuam has money. That should have been paid before any money was set aside to make the, 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 the court payments. Uh, because now the judge thinks that we can afford this. And we can't afford this. We've, we've not been able to make our payments. And, uh, and now it's only going to be exacerbated because we were pretending we were proud that we could pay a million dollars a week. When in fact we couldn't because we hadn't been paying all of our vendors and all of our obligations in the prior months. And while the blame game continues, Senator Ray Tenorio wants to look ahead. The senator says he is looking at a revenue-neutral solution to raising the debt ceiling to pay for the landfill costs by raising the value of property and lowering interest rates on land. Tenorio hopes an override of the previous landfill bill doesn't happen because he doesn't want the hemorrhaging of the $1 million payments to continue. This has nothing to do with um, taking away from the COLA, EITC tax returns or JFK or any of the laudable things that we need to take care of as a government in our debts and our infrastructure build-up requirements. But what it does do is say, let's stop the hemorrhaging of the $1 million a week Let's pay for this through a viable bond measure, which we've already been told what that is, and raise the debt ceiling without actually hurting the people of Guam.